Most football players here at the University of Florida arrive with high school accolades and several stars in front of their name. But there's a handful of players that show up on campus with just the desire and passion to play the game and suit up for the Gators. For redshirt senior Mike McNeely, this opportunity has meant everything. Standing just five foot eight, McNeely can sometimes get lost in the hustle and bustle of practice. I'm right here, coach, I'm right here. A walk-on who earned a scholarship prior to the 2014 season, McNeely has done everything a coach can ask for, giving maximum effort all the time. I'd say if you ask anybody on the team who the hardest worker is, who uh, even, even him getting a scholarship, you know, him being so deserving of a scholarship, uh, everything that Mike has gotten, he's definitely earned. McNeely's effort and commitment to the Gators put him in position to make one of the biggest plays and one of the biggest robberies in all of college football. It wasn't much of a discussion. It was like, here's what we're doing, um, go execute. And I was like, this is awesome. So <laughs> that was kind of what it was. I was presented um, with the idea in the special teams meeting with everybody else. So I was like, all right, here we go. And everybody was like, McNeely, McNeely. And so, um, yeah, that was kind of the atmosphere. And I was just like, all right, let's do it. So everybody was telling me that I was going to score a touchdown. And uh, so I was like, man, if anything happens besides me scoring a touchdown, I could get a first down and everybody would be really disappointed. So I was like, I better score on this. McNeely and his teammates perfected the play during practice that week and worked even harder to keep it quiet. Went great every single time. Everything was perfect. And from the play call um, to the design of the play to the blocking execution, everything really worked out perfectly just like it had in practice. It was, it was really cool. First time he actually ran it in practice, I acted like he had scored in a real game. So I went down and celebrated with him in practice. I was actually on a business trip up in Raleigh and was driving back to the hotel after dinner and he called me up and was asking, am I on speakerphone? I said, no. And so he said, well, um, you know, they put in a play, could be a fake if I go in as the holder. And I said, a fake? If you go in, he goes, dad, you can't say this in the car. Rivalry weekend arrived and so did too the opportunity of a lifetime. When he, when he ran out on the field, everybody was getting excited because they knew it was going to be a fake. After I got set and I was looking at um, Frankie to make sure that he was ready, um, and I said, I called the play and I said set, and Drew didn't, the long snapper Drew didn't hear me. And so I was like, oh, okay, and so I yelled it again and the second time he heard me and snapped it, and after that everything was really fast. The blocks just worked perfectly and materialized and the hole opened up and so everything else was kind of a blur. That's exactly how he ran it in practice, full speed, you know, full effort and, you know, celebrating at the end, even to the T, you know. And so when we executed it, I was not surprised at all. I was just, you know, so happy for him and, and that he was able to do that and just be the hero of the game. Oh, you know, you'd love to be down there with him. So it's so exciting to see his dream come true. You know, and right there, Mark, his brother, was right there in the band, right in front of him and all of his friends. It's been an excitement for everyone. The play turned this humble gator into an overnight cult hero. No one really knew that it was going to blow up into this big, you know, uh, ordeal. Like we were on the bus coming back home and I was looking at the internet. I was like, Mike, man, you're all over the internet right now. Um, so I had 71 text messages <laughs> when I checked my phone. I was like, holy cow, that's more than I've ever had. And while that play will certainly go down as the biggest in his career, for McNeely, it wasn't the last time he'd visit the end zone in 2014. I never would have imagined anything like this, so it's been more than I could have ever hoped for. Mike McNeely arrived in Gainesville without any stars in front of his name. But thanks to hard work, determination, and a couple of touchdowns too, he's now leaving as one of the team's biggest stars of all. For Inside Gator Football, I'm Brady Ackerman.